people tomorrow um, asking them about what they know about how high you spend's changed. So what has changed about high spend? There's a lot more houses around than there were when I was little, uh, where there are lots of new houses now, open fields which we played on. We used to like to play games in the street together because there weren't many cars so you could play lots of games in the street. My children, when they were very small, we lived just along the village at Hooker Gate and we, they played out all day in the streets because there was, there was only two people had a car when we moved to Hooker Gate. Another case inside this case. Oh. 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 <laughs> very expert at shooting, if you don't believe me, put your hand up. <laughs> that had a bit of timber to knock it. But in the high span, the village blacksmith made these. We were very happy. We had plenty of space to play. We played outside, you see, the fields, woods, and the back street. So everything was used to play, play, play. What we're going to be doing in the project is that we're going to be going around High Spen and getting like elderly who's lived in High Spen for a long time or know High Spen a lot and like do interviews with them and merge like photos. So basically you take a picture of um, this school in the olden days and you might get like a picture of the school now then you kind of like mix them together. Merging photos from the present and the past together, videoing around high span what it is like now compared to what it was then. We used to go along the co op. I used to go along with my mum to the co op. We used to get the groceries and the, the meat and the, the chemists. We used to get lovely meat then. I don't know, I think the meat's changed now. I don't know. It doesn't taste the way it used to then. Well, there were 23 shops along the front. All kinds of shops, drapers shops, grocery shops, hardware shops, and the co-op. And they all used to come down on the Saturday morning and High Spen was like Newcastle. So busy. I loved school. School was, um, it was fun. It was, uh, it was interesting. Uh, you met your friends here. Uh, we had we did interesting things in in the classroom because I liked to paint and things. Um, you knew everybody. Well, school was very strict. You had a parade in the morning outside, march into school, sit in your desk, stand when the teacher came in. You then had to say good morning, sir, or good morning, miss. Sit sit down when you were told. Then you did your scripture. You had to learn parts of the Bible, including the Ten Commandments. So when we were in the top class, which I think is your year six, um, we were prefects. We used to help hand out the plates of food to children in the dinner hour and dish out the custard and the gravy. And I used to answer the headmaster's telephone if he wasn't in his office, and I would go and seek him in the school if he was in one of the classrooms. Um, and sometimes we would look after the baby class if it was raining, uh, and we had to stay in at the break time 
the older girls would go and keep the little ones company and look after them. So yes, there were lots of responsibilities when we were at school. How did you find it, Tim? I kind of like, well, really like knowing how to do like a proper interview and all that and actually getting asked the questions and answering them. Virgin Falls. Well, I enjoyed like interviewing people like in like setting stuff up as a director. Probably holding the boom <laughs> because I just found it interesting and it's quite satisfying for me.